So for someone who worked on Merrill, I was appalled uh, over the years that people were getting MSCs from fat, from heart, from skin, from brain. How disgusting from fat. I can't imagine anything worse than an MSC from fat. Why is that the case? Because they're parasites, because they're on every blood vessel <coughs> of the body. And therefore, it all makes sense that you should be able to get MSCs from any uh, tissue that has blood vessels. So we can isolate parasites, specifically uh, sort them. And, and here's a, a sort, the bottom, the bottom, I'm gonna, I know the videographer is not gonna like this, but tough break. Um, if, if you look at this bottom line, the, the sort is for CD146, uh, which is a very specific marker for parasites. And the second panel, you, you're also positive for alpha smooth muscle myosin. That's what the parasite that's grabbing your blood vessel squeezes and relaxes when you take your blood pressure medication because of that, those molecules. And the, the parasites have no markers for hemopoietic stem cells. The parasites have all of the markers that we described in the early uh, 1990s for MSCs. So this data, um, published by Pierre, uh, by uh, Bruno Pio's lab uh, when he was in uh, Pittsburgh, shows the absolute identity of parasites with MSCs. So you sort for MSCs, you get parasites. You sort for parasites, you get MSCs. So that, now I have one, thanks. Well, that worked. That didn't work. Okay. So uh, here's data also from uh, Bruno Pio's lab. Um, you see fetal muscle has three times more parasites than adult muscle. And, and, the, and the winner uh, in the amount of parasites is uh, uh, adipose tissue because uh, all of these adipocytes have huge numbers of capillaries that keep them alive. So 15 to 20 percent of the cells that you sort are MSC. So let's talk about fat because all of us are always willing to donate any amount of fat uh, to improve our health. And, and there's always donors that are available who are eating too many McDonald's hamburgers. And so you, you do a liposuction, you, you wash the lipo aspirate, and then the key trick to the whole technology is that you incubate this lipo aspirate with a collagenase, with an enzyme that frees the parasite from its um, anchorage to the blood vessels. You spin that, all of the adipocytes, all the fat cells go to the top, and, and we get a, a pellet at the bottom, which is called stromal vascular fraction, it has 60 to 80 uh, percent MSCs in it. For autologous therapy, this is an enormously potent preparation for delivering MSCs for various clinical uses, and, and, and I'll come back to that. This for the scientists in the audience. This is a sort that we took primary cells from fat and we sorted for uh, CD34 and CD31. So CD34 is specific for hemopoietic cells and CD31 for vascular cells. And, and what we did is we took the CD34 high uh, cells and we plated them under MSC conditions and we took the CD31 high cells and plated them under MSC conditions, and the cells that stick to the Petri dish are by markers, MSCs. So what markers the cells have in your body and what markers they have on a Petri dish, very different. So the, the science needs to improve uh, in terms of picking out those markers. So all parasites are MSCs. All blood vessels reflect the tissue that they're embedded in, 
And therefore, all of these MSCs are quite different in their chemistry. So the MSC from fat and the MSC from bone marrow, they do the same functions, but the, the conditions in which they do them, uh, the chemistries, the innate chemistries are different, and, and I can discuss these examples for people who want to, if, uh, if you want to question me. So MSCs are MSCs all over your body. Their actual chemistries slightly different depending on, on uh, where you get them. So this is a very important experiment. So I'm going to spend some few minutes on this because uh, Paul Lin, who's an MD, PhD student in my lab, this is a brilliant experiment. MSCs are, are function at sites of injury. So we created a site of injury. We irradiated the right leg of this mouse. The left leg serves as a control. We, we have a cut down procedure where we put a catheter in the carotid artery down into the aortic arch, into the left ventricle of the animal, so that the cells that we put down that catheter never see the lung and liver on the first pass through the animal. Hugely important because MSCs get stuck in the lung and the liver. And, and what you see is these labeled MSCs uh, are uniformly distributed at one hour and by uh, a, a couple of weeks out, you see that they have focused and, and the signal increases in the damaged leg. So we dissect that at six weeks and we show further that that signal is in the, is in the femur of the animal. And when we do histology for this marker, which is called the cyparase, what you see is those cells have engrafted and gone back to their positions as perivascular cells. So they've done their job in terms of helping the tissue fix itself and they've come back and become pericytes. And we re-isolated that marrow, put it back into a second injured animal, and you see the same process. So we can serial transplant the cells for the hematologists in the audience, they would say that's a definition of a stem cell. I would say that's a definition of an MSC because we can serial transplant them because we know how to get them from marrow, we know how to liberate them, and they graft back as pericytes. And again, the important aspect is we can trace the cycle of this very precisely with these uh, immuno and, um, uh, uh, and, and, and probes that we've inserted into these cells. So MSCs uh, don't make muscle, they don't make fat, they come back as pericytes. So all MSCs are pericytes, not all pericytes are MSCs. There's some pericytes that are so highly differentiated that they never become MSCs. But if you want MSCs, uh, you need to think about them as pericytes. 